Hey, this is Comer back, and this is going to be a quick video. I'm going to be talking a little bit about the patch notes. Just came out today, patch 1.0.2. I believe it is the 18th. Yep. So, in the patch notes, uh, there'll be a link in the description, and I might throw it up on the screen here, too. There were a few notable changes to some of the heroes. And so, Bastion's recon mode gun, a little bit more accurate now, that's always nice. But the main changes that happened to him or he no longer has any armor bonuses when he's in sentry mode. So, you know, when you deployed just before, you'd get uh, 300 extra armor, which was, you know, fairly nice. Well, you don't get that anymore. However, the uh, changes they made to the bullet damage were reverted. So it actually does the same damage it does it did before the, the game went into that, you know, long downtime. So it's kind of a little bit of a trade-off there. However, I don't think that not having any sort of life bonus when in sentry mode is the right way to go with this. I think he should have some shield. And frankly, what I think is give him a shield, kind of the same type of shield that he had originally, but not 2000 HP. Give this one only 150. So when he deploys, he has an extra 150 only in front of him. He can still turn 360 degrees, but he has the extra 150 in front of him so that as he's deploying, he can take, you know, the heat that's coming in front of him. So that's certainly not a lot of life, but it, it makes a slight difference there, and I think that having some extra beef wall in sentry mode is the right way to go. Torbjorn's turret got nerfed a fair bit. It, uh, let's see, it does less damage from 16 to 14. You get less health per swing on that when you're repairing it from 100 to 50. The, uh, the rivet gun got a couple changes. Maximum ammo decreased from 20 to 18, and alternate fire cost decreased from 5 to 3. That's a shotgun, by the way. So, definitely turret needed to be toned down a little bit. I think these changes, uh, I think they'll be pretty nice. Not exactly what I wanted, but I think they'll they'll achieve the goal of getting the turret where it needs to be. I wish they'd increased the, the cooldown for the turret as well, but we'll see what happens. Maze Endothermic Blaster, I just call it the Snowblower. The alternate fire on that cost uh, 50, now it costs 40, so that's nice. Get a little bit more ammo for your Snowblower. I do wish they would give her snowblower just, you know, the normal mode, a slight damage boost, nothing too dramatic, something like 10 to 15% more. It really doesn't feel like the snowblower itself does enough damage. Freezing people is nice, but I think it does need to do a little bit more damage, because you don't really end up killing anyone with the snowblowing itself, which is not exactly the point, per se, you know, that's for freezing people, but I think it should do a little bit more damage so that you can compete a little better with the heroes that run around really fast like Tracer or Genji. Diva got a number of changes basically making it so that her ultimate can be charged faster mainly when she's not inside her mech and that definitely needed to happen. However, I wish that uh, they'd give you an option as Diva to eject or come back into your mech at any time. I think that would be pretty cool. You know, the keyboard's pretty big. I'm sure they could come up with some sort of hotkey to do that. So, you know, you could do that to evacuate early. You could do that to uh, just because you like playing with her pistol because it, it does fairly good damage. It's basically Mercy's except twice as fast. And that's, it's actually pretty nice. I think it has more DPS than her mech itself. And I'm gonna do a video challenge here where I'm gonna try and get a 15 kill streak like that. So we'll see how that goes. A change I wish they'd make to Reaper is for his teleport thing. I wish that when you did the teleport, the opponents could not see where you're teleporting to. I don't think it's quite fair when you teleport somewhere and then you get instantly killed because someone noticed you that you didn't see or that was running by. And uh, it should definitely be invisible to the opponent team. If not invisible, then significantly less visible. Or, you know, appear for a fair bit shorter duration. Another hero I wish they would tweak is Winston. I think his electric gun, I'm not sure what it's called, but uh, his electric gun, I think it could do just a little bit more damage. But the main thing is his ultimate right now, I think, is in a terrible place. Because when you pull it out right, ideally you want to use an ultimate in a group. This is completely counterintuitive to that, because when you hit people, they get knocked back quite a bit. And your punches don't do a ton of damage either. They don't really do so much. They do fair damage, but I don't think it's justifiable for the amount of knockback the people you hit get. So you do get a fair bit of life, you get 700, but you're definitely still killable. And if you do this in a group, you're ending up just chasing one person down and you might kill them, you might kill two. But if in a group, if you're splitting your attention, you're hardly going to kill anyone with it and it's just very difficult to control right now. So I think they could tone down the knockback quite a bit. 
and turn up the damage on the punch a bit. I don't know how much, uh, let's say 25%. It definitely needs to be improved. Because right now his ultimate, I have to say, is my least favorite in the entire game. I do not like his ultimate, I think it's terrible. So aside from, you know, balance talk here, uh, a couple of the things in the patch were just a bunch of bug fixes, uh, problems with, you know, Tracer going into the wrong places with her blink ability. And uh, one of the changes here that I didn't like was they, they increased the cooldown time to use your voice line. Now, I don't know about other people, but I personally loved spamming it and hearing people spam it, because I think it's funny. So that's uh, one change I don't like, but maybe someone at Blizzard thought it was annoying and they toned it down a little bit. But, you know, what can you do? Frankly, I wish there was no cooldown at all. Then you could just keep spamming it. It would be hilarious. Uh, I might get annoyed eventually, who knows. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I'm Comervac, and you can support me by checking out my channel, you know, subscribing if you like this kind of content, and liking this video if you thought it was good and you're interested, and share your thoughts down below, kind of about what you think about this kind of hero balance stuff. So with that, I'm going to be signing off. Thanks for watching.